gotten a curse. Summon a curse. Hi. Either something has gone wrong with my magic, or you... You've been up to something. Oh, I had a great time at the arcade earlier. You wouldn't believe the prizes they've got these days. By any chance are the prizes giant monster plushies? Well, in this world, yeah. I mean, the normal plushies in the normal world, but that's not here. Do I look good with a Lunagra on top half? Uh, I mean, I'd say it's an improvement. Wait, how much do you like Lunagron? I think he's a great monster. He's, he's, he's pretty tough. Aw, thank you. The bottom half of you is sort of weird, though. Oh, I mean, it's white. Okay. So it matches Lunagron's fur. I wasn't just replying to you on the color of my clothes. <laughs> I was going to say, what are, you, what are you implying here? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I've also been busy. Behold! I caught a baby Garango. And you're holding it by the scruff of the neck? How could you? Oh, it's dead. Why are his arms under its butt? Well, I, you know, I, I stapled it into a nice carrying trophy position. Well, I mean, I guess if it's already dead, that doesn't really... I did it while it was alive. It died on the way back to base. Does it have a tag on its arm? I just noticed that. Well, that's so I can sell sell the uh, the mortified corpse. The mortified corpse? Not the mortified. The, this this oh. baby Garago corpse is so embarrassed. It cannot believe that it got caught. No, the Did asphyxiated. I... No, I didn't strangle it. What's the word for stuffing a fucking animal? Ta taxidermy. Yes, Jack, I didn't mean to get so aggressive there. Stuffing a fucking ass. There's very limited professions where you can say that and have it be accurate, and I think it's pretty much just taxidermists and chefs. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of overlap between the two. Is there a lot of overlap between the two? How do you end up being a taxidermist? It just feels like one of those many, like, jobs that it seems really hard to imagine someone falling into, and it also seems really hard to imagine someone like, what do you want to do when you grow up? I want to make dead animals be preserved as statues. Clearly they were just looking to sign up to be a taxi driver and accidentally entered the phrase wrong. Entered the phrase wrong? Yeah, taxi driver, taxidermist, it's, it's an easy spelling. No, I, I get the similarity, but where are they entering a phrase? The, the job assigning database? Job listing websites? So when they clicked on this link on Google, having searched it wrong, and they saw a stuffed dead animal, presumably decorating the page, they didn't think, huh, that's probably nothing to do with taxis. <laughs> I don't know how we've reached the point where we're discussing the relative economic merit of taxidermy, but here we are. Look, strange things happen sometimes. How much how much do you think it costs to get to get something taxidermy? Oh my god! That's so much cheaper than I expect expected. To get a fox taxidermied, right? This 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 place would want 250 quid, right? Yeah, okay. That's, that's but then, what I was thinking. then there is a 300 quid option labeled as fox open mouth. Yeah, okay. That's that's about what I was thinking. <laughs> What, I have a question, though. Yes. Do they provide the fox, or do you have to bring in your own? <laughs> you know, that's a really good point. So the cheapest... <laughs> because it sounds like the service is to taxidermy the fox, but where is the fox the coming from? The cheapest animal to get taxidermied is a mouse at 75 yeah, quid. Yeah, makes sense. I mean, that's still a lot for a creature of that size. Though I guess it, it's, it's harder because it's delicate work. Anyway, so that's why I'm hoping to sell this baby Garagom taxidermy. Thank you and good night. Well, how much does it cost to taxidermy a 2D object? I don't know. How much does it cost to taxidermy a 2D object? That wasn't a joke. I was just wondering if they do a oh, I thought you were saying it, but I'm just I'm gonna leave now. This is like just wanted, 17 I, minutes. I just... We've been talking about taxidermy for like 15 fucking minutes, Cotton! I just wanted to know if they would stuff a title card for us. Why are we just running across the desert? Do we know where we're going? Yeah, to the big desert. This is the the whole map is a de it's called the desert. Oh my god, there actually is a fear of letters. That's a real phobia. Of course there is. Well, there is, but I think what you were looking for is numbers. Okay, well, it still is. You know, what, what do, you want, do you want to know the name of the fear of... of sure. Grammophobia. That should be the fear of using correct grammar. <laughs> and the letter you're going to fear today... Or the gramophone. ...with your newly found gramophobia is the letter T. For Ooh. Teostra. It's it's T for Teostra. Teostra with a bright, bright hair. Look, it's old man Teostra with a shock of white hair. He's looking great, little silver dragon. His, his wings have a nice little pattern on him. Behold! Risen Teostra! Why, why is he dying? It, it, wasn't, it wasn't supposed to be dying. It was supposed to be like big guttural screech. Not a screech. Screech isn't a good sound, actually. Uh, yeah, I was going to say, <laughs> I, don't, I don't know if that... That just, it sounded like you were gargling him in your mouth. Risen Teostra with very fresh breath. <laughs> help, help, he's stuck. Oh no, what are you doing, Teostra? What are you doing? Fire. Oh, okay, he's playing um, for a... Is it just me, or so far does this just feel like regular Teostra? Are you kidding? I meant the moveset, not, not visually. 
Okay, that's, that's better. That's that's better. I thought that I mean, was clear. We already talked about the visual differences. Oh, okay. Right now he's not doing any unique moves is what I'm talking about. I mean, him instantly going into aerial burn flamethrow is quite intense. I'm pretty sure normal Tyosha yeah, needs cool. to be powered up for that. I can okay. tell you. That's, yeah, I, no, he's got Valstrax's, like, double double flamethrower up, down Okay, game. that's new. Yeah, because what I meant is, like, we started Risen Kashala, and the first thing he did was, like, bust out seven tornadoes in a new attack. He has got a lot of fire. Um, what, what, what is he? Oh, it's that. Like, a lot of fire. What is that? Oh, okay! Now that... Yeah, that's different. Yeah, that is different. I like that he's, like, extra covered in fire, it feels like. Like, his leg... Look at his legs. Like, his legs oh, yeah, are literally no, it's, burning. It is all over him. That's that is so not cool. That's normally is. Also, his fire looks better than it normally does. There's yeah, like it does. There's, like, a blue ignition on it. It got a, like, double fire paw slam into a fire spin. That was... That was new. Oh, yeah, no, he looks incredible. The thing is, he looks awesome. Because, obviously, the Risen adds to a fire aesthetic, and giving him, like, the different colored well, mane is genius. You say it adds to a fire aesthetic, but for the others, it has... It's been, it's been a pink line. He doesn't have pink lines. He's got his own unique thing going on. That is true. I just love how burny he is. Like, he genuinely is more intensely flaming. Oh, yeah, right? he looks incredible. Like, he is he is on multiple forums. Like, intensely flaming. I, I want... And, did yeah, it... he's intensely flaming multiple forums. Uh, yes. Did it did it, was, did it work? Was it as funny as I hoped it would be in my mind? Oh, it, it was it was so good. Like, Teostra on... Like, I, I don't know why I went with forums. I feel, I feel like that dates me. <laughs> I don't think anything dates you. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean that. It just sounded funny to say. I don't, I don't like... Oh, I thought you meant... I really <laughs> genuinely interpreted it as the fruit. Like, that's actually the first thing that came to my head. What even are dates, though? I, I've, I've, I'm always <laughs> confused about this. It's like, I don't understand. How would one... How would one small, squishy fruit a person? <laughs> I think that's just a symptom of, of being with someone for so many years. The concept of dating is, is reduced to a fruit. Yeah, I mean, that's just life. Is that... Holy mother of Christ! What? He was about to supernova without being powered up. Was he? I, yes. I, okay. Yes, he was. And you knocked him out of it. I mean, I literally just got on the basil that he made mountable and then started doing mounting things. Look at his wing color changes there. He's got pink lines and now they're like, it's black with purple and pink. It looks really good. Oh, yeah. Look at him. That looks so cool. Like, this is just how Teyasha should look by, by default. Like, honestly, like the flames and everything. Like, it's just oh, incredible. Oh, he's getting mad. He's yeah, getting he's, uh, flaming. He's, powering up he's getting very upset. That's a lot of fireballs. Goodness gracious. Yeah, he's in okay. he's in blast mode now. So he should be doing a lot more powder. He's in blast dangerous. mode now. That's a lot of external balls. Careful of his external balls. Well, yeah, I mean, it's a lot more dangerous than the internal ones. You can't even see Oh, them. my way! My... Were, you, were you careful of the internal balls? Oh, my way! Oh, my way. <laughs> I just kind of didn't react to being stunned in it. In a fireball, I was just sort of looking yeah, at that's, it. Like, that's not a, like that that's looks not a pretty. And just sort of stood there and blew up. Oh, here oh, we go. It's risen up. mode. Oh, oh, oh his yeah. paws are blue. Oh, that's oh he the looks stuff. incredible. Yeah, he is visually is, perfect. Yeah, his paws are burning blue fire. That is incredible. And his limbs are even more intensely flaming as well. He's like reeved in fire armor. That's so oh. badass. Holy Ow. cry! Holy cry! <laughs> I didn't know whether to say holy Christ or holy crap, but I ended up with holy cry. I just, I just feel like having a holy cry right now. Okay. Dear Zeus, <laughs> please bless my, my crops. Even though you have nothing to do with crops, <laughs> Zeus was just the first god that popped into my head while crying. I'm glad that your crops are. Then safe. again, maybe Zeus could bless your crops, and then you'd have thunder crops. That would probably be really bad. Okay, pitch idea, show idea. We, we have a bunch of sentient vegetables that have the power of lightning, and we call it Thunder Crops. Then, then what? That's, I mean, they go on adventures. What kind of adventures? They, they battle the the earth, earth fruit. That doesn't seem like a good matchup for them. They're not going to win. Yeah, well, that's why, that's why it's a hard adventure. Also, be. earth fruit just sounds like somebody who's never seen a fruit before trying to describe <laughs> what they're looking at. <laughs> what is this strange bounty of the earth in front of me? It comes I out of the ground. Oh, it's fruit. the ground. Okay! 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 Oh, it has sewer. Yes, it has sewer. He just immediately he just repowered! Yep. He's exp he sure did. That's illegal, I'm pretty sure, in seven countries. Uh, apparently not this one. He didn't just repower up. He, his supernova made him more intense. Did it? His paw fire has now gone purple instead of blue. Well, this is the... the I thought it was like this before. I'm not, I'm not certain, though. I can't say for sure. Oh, his little paw! 
Puffs of bomb looks so good. Also, also, oh, what it did was change him to blast Maybe, mode. Maybe, yeah, he's gone from fire to blast mode. It's like he used he's his got own the Nova to ascend. That's so badass. I don't know why we're fighting him here, but I'm- Why are we fighting him in this tiny pocket I mean, of a room? I haven't I haven't been hit here yet, so I'm just enjoying it. Oh, I want to ride the Teostra train. I want to ride the- there. <laughs> Too slow. You go. I wasn't trying to. Too slow, Conan. You should have been faster. You're right. I should have been. Let me sharpen my Zenogre. Dude, he looks so cool. He looks so cool. Oh, yeah, cool. no. He... I really can't decide Visually who I incredible. prefer between Kashala and Teostra here. Oh, I absolutely prefer Kashala. Ooh. Like, Kashala was mind-blowing experience level. Sorry! Cool. Okay. But Kashala was, like, like incredibly See, good. I think visually giving him, like, a wreath of blue fire around his paws is the single greatest thing either of them has got. I mean, Kashala just had that, like, as a whole, basically. Sorry, his is this something between you and colors. Kashala that I should know about? Like, I, you seem like you're really, really... I mean, you were, you were there with me, too. You thought it was one of the best monsters in the entire game. I have no idea what you're talking about. I never said anything like that. I think you did. Basil, I'm not here for you. Why are you even on the ground? Oh, because I punished you. Yeah, I remember. Sorry, Basil. That was my bad. What you you did. carry on. I, I don't mean to. Now we have to go elsewhere. <laughs> I just, I just used Risen Teostra to detonate this Basil, sent him flying, sprawling to the earth, and then went, Basil, what are you doing, you silly? What are you, why are you on the ground, weirdo? Why would you be here? <laughs> I just think you can't walk up to someone, punch them in the face, and then ask them why would they do? Why would they get punched in the face like that? Yeah, but you're the one who did it, so you can't think you can't did it because you just did do it. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It makes no sense. Then you shouldn't have done it. Maybe we should try it anyway. You just did it. Uh, I think he's going to do it again. Oh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> I swear we had two cuts. No, we both died once. If at first you don't succeed, try and try, try again. Try in a corner. Oh, that. yeah, try again. Try in a corner or cry in a corner? Cry? Why would you try in a corner? What would that do for I don't you? Think, I don't think you can play rugby in a corner. You need more space than that. Where did rugby come from? Try. Okay. That doesn't mean anything to me. Okay, let me... Wait, let me run this through the translator machine. I'm, I'm kidding. There's no machine. That's just me making bup bup sounds while I'm oh, while that's, crazy. Oh, that's, that's, that's funny. Yeah, I didn't want you to. Yeah, so I didn't want you to think there was. You know, it's just me. Boop, boop. So, okay. Uh, in rugby, when you score a point, it's called a try, and that would be the equivalent of scoring a touchdown. Why do you assume I understand football? Because you're across the pond, me laddie. And you, so you do know what a touchdown is, though, right? Sure. I also know what rugby is, but I don't know what a try is. Well, there you go. A, 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 a try is a touchdown in rugby. I mean, that, so you do understand I mean, my example and now know what it, a try is. So why give me this? Why do you think I don't know what football is? Because I just don't appreciate that you're just like, ah, oh, I'm going to translate it to American football for this Canadian person. I mean, but what else would you want from, would you want from me? Okay, fine. Just tell um, me what, just tell so, me what okay, it is. Okay, fine. You're right. You're right. Sorry. Sorry. A try in rugby is when... The hockey puck goes in the net on the ice rink, eh? Is that better? D did that help you more? No, just say it's when you score, idiot. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna just say it's when you score. <laughs> <laughs> you mean you didn't like the, the hockey? The ice hockey? Is that, is that not doing it for you? <laughs> no, because you don't even know what it's called in hockey when it's not a hard thing to say goal. <laughs> It's when the puck goes in the net, eh? It's just one of those moments. <laughs> I love the notion that one day a human being went, you know what? I've got this stick and I've got this little flat flat thing and I like pushing it around the ground and shooting it off and stuff. But you know what? It's a bit it's a bit too stable for my liking. You know, wouldn't this be great if the entire floor was incredibly slippy? I think that would this is what this needs. Like who well, I mean, who? Who and why? It, it would it would have started with a ball and then turned into a puck once it moved to ice because it just moves better. Oh, I thought you meant like once it's been hit enough and it kind of flattened a bit and then they just kept using it anyway. And I think it's more the concept that ice skating already exists and then people were like, well, I can ice skate and I can use a stick in a ball so See? I could make a sport out of this. I quite like ground hockey. Yeah, I enjoy it because I can't skate. <laughs> See, I really like ice skating too, but I've never combined the, the twixt. I feel like you would like it then if you like both of those activities because it's just the two of them put together. Yeah, no, that does feel like something, but it just it also feels very, very uh, intense. Well, yeah, it's like one of the only sports where you can fight and they won't break it up for a bit and then you just get a penalty for five minutes. 
Like back, back when I actually watched hung, ha, Hungy, back when I watched hockey when I was younger, <laughs> one of my favorite players was just known for for being the fucking bully who would beat people up if they if they were mean to his team. I love, I love a good game of Hungy. hungy. I love ice yeah, hungy. That's what I do. A bunch of people in opposing hungy. teams trying to make the most food on ice. <laughs> oh god, why is the oven in the middle of the pit of water? <laughs> you have to blast the food through the open oven and it cuts on its way through. If you slide it at the wrong speed, it doesn't cook properly. <sighs> to be fair, massive pizza oven. Pizzas are already puck shaped. I mean, I think, you know, it's in the making here. I think it'd be very hard to slide an uncooked pizza. Talking of revolutionary sporting events, you must be pretty totally super hyped that Canada are in the World Cup. No, had no idea. <laughs> <laughs> the pride this man bears for his nation. I mean, also don't care much about football. Yeah, no, so. but the World Cup is different, right? It's the most watched human event on the planet. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a big. I think it transcends the sport as the World Cup specifically. It's, it is the biggest thing I that mean, happens. I just don't care much about sport as a whole. Yeah, I mean, you, you like what? You love basketball and prob and ice hockey. I uh, basketball, yes. Hockey, I don't really. Well, give to put much it in perspective. Canada have only qualified for the World Cup once in 1986, so the fact that they're here now is, you know, it's quite, it's quite a, you know, well done. Thank you. Basically. It's all my fault. Oh, God. You don't want to arrive at a zone and see a supernova happening, do you? Well, you do if I arrive first, because then you have the time to not walk in like you did before. Hey, he started it just as I landed. All right, thank you very much. Like, what do you want That should me? give you plenty of time to avoid it. Not when my weapon's out. How is your weapon out? Oh, hey, the power sheaf, which is not going to be fast and long enough. I either sheaf and then leave, which is not going to be fast enough. Or I roll out without sheathing, which is not going to be fast enough. It was a very much, I'm or, screwed. Or you do a regular sheath and then Superman dies. I don't think that would have been fast enough either. Well, it's faster than all the other options you presented. Ooh, I just got the, the luckiest amount of damage possible. One? No, seven, seven, seven. That's crazy. It is crazy. Do I win? I don't understand why money is raining from the sky. Okay, that was that was really alarming. He like wound up a powerful <laughs> attack. And then yep. flipped round and smashed into a wall. <laughs> it looked like that was his intention the entire time. Yeah, he's just trying to psych you out. God, he really is spending a weird amount of time throwing himself into walls. Yeah, he must just be having like an itchy forehead moment or something. <laughs> I think there are better ways to scratch. Well, not when your hands are like on fire. Yeah, actually, that's a really good point. You probably don't. But then again, he does love fire. I think there's a difference between like being able to deal with fire. For and... the love of God, man! What? If we could just not re-flinch him a third time just before true charge hits, that would be absolutely amazing. Well, if you're asking me to do less damage, then I think the problem is you're doing uh, not enough damage yourself. Like, I, I just, I am being teased. I am being relentlessly teased. I apologize for doing so much damage. Look, you're using a sword and shield. That's not a phrase in your vocabulary. Well, apparently it is. Because he wasn't getting knocked over from your damage. Oh, that's that's the thing. Great Sword is so incredible that even the attacks building up to the true charge were doing such insane damage that I kept denying myself. Right, and that's why it wasn't taking effect until afterwards. Oh, he's going risen. He's going risen. He is, but you're on a spider, so. I am on a spider. The actual risen power up moment. Oh, is... what the fuck? Okay. I couldn't see that attack through the Rachna, and it one shot me. Yeah, his powder balls are really intense. Well, we're back to one thing. Which also does sound like a menu item on a Monster Hunter themed restaurant. I mean, powder balls could be an item in a real life restaurant. No, no, Teostra powder balls, of course. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I, I mean, I guess, but you'd also die if you ate that. No, it would just be some spicy balls. I don't know what they'd be made well, then, it, then it's improperly, then it's just false advertising, because there's no Teostra powder in there, but it's just spice. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah, so his, his, his spicy balls, as we've just established, don't order them because they one-shot you. <laughs> Yeah, apparently. He's right here. He'll never see it coming. Death from above! One blow, one kill! I missed. I <laughs> well, I mean, if you'd have, if you'd have one-shot him there, I would have been beyond impressed and questioned if you were cheating. So I'm glad you missed. <laughs> ah, yes! See, that's why I, I didn't, because I would never want you to think that I was doing anything but my bestest, genuinest of self. Of course. I mean, that's the point of Greatsword, isn't it? For the first time, he's let me get a raw counter so this is clearly the one like teostra's oh. time between i see you and raw it activates is, is minuscule like normally you throw a kunai and start charging and then counter the raw but even that is not fast enough to catch teostra so i basically have to just manually bump into him and then start charging i know imagine having to manually bump into a monster i mean that's what i do with with betsy but you know with Betsy? Really fast. You don't oh, Metsu! Metsu. <laughs> what do I do with Betsy? You know Betsy. 
is Betsy. That's I realize you had a friend. hunting my cow. No, my, my sword and shield's called Betsy. You don't name your weapons? Not a name that's appropriate to uh, to say in polite company. Uh, is it great sword? Best, it's best if you don't know. I don't think you'll look at me the same. I don't look at you in general. Is it because of the blindness? Yeah, it's really hard. I mean, I, I would say so. I'm quite impressed that you're even able to do anything. It feels like a random dig at blind people. No, obvi I'm on a screen. Because obviously <laughs> you can't, like... like you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Not just in general. Obviously, a blind person can leave a plenty fulfilling life, but I mean, a literal screen. There's, there's no really, there's nothing around that, is there? Yeah, it's a bit hard. You can't really play a high reaction action game with like audio description or something, because it, it would be like it would like just running up and super attack. Those, 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 those. Like that's, that's how the uh, that's, that's how the audio screen would have to go constantly. I'm not, I'm not sure you could uh, play I'm, like. I was thinking that. back to our like World of Warcraft raiding days. And something in my brain just says, you need to have the best raid leader in the world. <laughs> yeah, literally, you'd have to have a raid leader for all of your games. <laughs> oh, I want to leave. Right, uh, and I want to come back. Oh, oh Remobra, no! Oh! You okay? Oh, that Remobra just... He flew right into, he flew right into it. And he stood up again! Look, Remobra this... are strong. This Remobra is an absolute champion. He's dead. He died. He died now. He's yeah, that Remobra does not appear to be in One Piece. Yeah, anymore. that that Remobra. Uh, I don't think there's any Remobras in One Piece. I don't know. They've been expanding a lot recently. There's a lot of fun creatures in there. No! Oh! 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 Okay. Okay. All right. Okay. I've, I've fixed him. I don't know why I was getting really intensely more Santory as that oh. sequence went. Oh! Oh! No. oh. No. <laughs> hey, Santa Claus would be a great monster hunter. Yeah, he'd have a he'd have the the claws weapon. <laughs> okay, I've got a snail juice down right next to him. This is good. Oh, snail, good. What? His flamethrower can hit twice. Normally on a Tiostra flamethrower, if you counter it once, when it wafts back past you, it doesn't interact with you, because it only has one opportunity to hit you, whereas Risen's can hit you on the way back. Yeah, I wouldn't have assumed that the old one worked that way. That's just That just makes sense to me, the way Yeah, if you get right hit now. by Tiostra flamethrower and then wire fall back into it, it just passes through you. Like, for whatever reason, it only has one that, opportunity to hit you. That almost seems like a bug more than anything. No, no, it's an Elder Dragon. No, you're right. I'm sorry. I mean, an elder dragon could be a bug. I don't know how, how do you how do you get these things? How do you get these things so confused, man? I mean, a bug could also be an elder dragon. It's not mutually exclusive. No, it can't, because otherwise Atal Ka would be an elder dragon. I don't get more powerful bug than that. Well, I mean, I'm not Capcom. Talk to them. <laughs> I really thought you say, well, I'm not captain. <laughs> I'm not the captain, so you know, any decision. Well, I can't. I can't finding. decide where this ship's going. You know, I've got nothing here. Wait, are you? Oh, it's time for the beatdown. Yeah. <laughs> we got this, buddy. Of course we do. I accidentally splatted on your Almadron, I'm sorry. How dare you. Look, these things happen, okay? It explains my timer going down. Look, just keep on smacking this Deostra. All right, I'm punishing well, I'm him. Punishing. I'm already <laughs> punishing him. He's getting double punished, the naughty, naughty boy. Shit. Oh, okay. God, adding a ring of fire to his Nova is, is mean. Just unnecessary. Right. Almadron got hit by that and just got knocked down as well. Like, yeah, he's just set like, on fire. And now he's leaving. <laughs> oh! Oh! Oh, God! <laughs> it would be normal for him to instantly leave, but instead he was interrupted. Oh, Lord. Well, I think when you do a double wyvern ride, only one of the two monsters actually does the, I'm leaving now. And this time it was uh, mm. Rachna. He just feels so unbelievably dangerous in this mode. Oh, my God. Like, how do you even have time to, like, it's just... My word. Oh, he's doing something. Goodbye. Oh, he looks so intimidating in the air. He looks injured as far as I'm concerned. Is he injured? Oh, he went down. Oh, uh, he's not blue. No, he's not limping, but I think he's injured. All right, we can we can do a double drop here. This is this is good. Uh, I'm a sword and shield. I don't have much of a drop. Look, you can do your dinky, like, 200 damage, all right? Oh, God, I accidentally went too early. Oh, God, go, 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 go. If you think a sword and shield aerial attack does 200 damage, then no, you're crazy. I don't. I, I only know large numbers. It was the fact that you insultingly called it dinky 200 damage. Well, yeah, what? <laughs> it's dinky damage. 200 damage isn't dinky. It's incredibly dinky. For a, for a great sword hit, it sure is. For any other weapon in the game, almost. Not quite. Oh, Teostra. Oh, he's got to be close. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Just the final oh, push. Spin. The final and countdown. Man. The final choppening. Oh, there we go. Yes! 
He responds well to the final choppening. He sure does. Now it's time for the final choppening. Yeah, it, I mean, the wall did pretty good damage as it turns out. Yeah, in. did the wall just kill him? I, I feel like the wall just well, killed him. I think he suffocated. Like, it's hard to breathe with your head in, in, in the like, Yeah, I think he literally, I think, I don't think we actually helped at like, all. Look, I think he there, just put his head in the wall and suffocated. Like, like look, literally. There is literally a rock between his upper and lower jaw. He can't breathe. That's all we had to do this entire time was put him in a wall. Well, why didn't we do that earlier? We should have done that earlier. Oh, no, that was, that was a pretty good one. That one, that one felt good. He better have some insane armor, I'll tell you that much. Yeah, I mean, if he doesn't, then this will be one hell of an experience. I mean, if he does have insane armor, it just means we need to do it a bunch more times. So there's that too. Oh, yeah, actually, he better have really, really terrible armor. <laughs> Three, two, one. Boom! Oh, that's incredible. Oh, that's some good-looking Teostra armor, my The hair fucking flows. Yeah, the flowing hair. That is really that's nice. That's very good. I like that a lot, actually. Powder Mantle. Continuously attacking a large monster will cause powder to farm around you. The color and effects of the powder will change over time. Imagine if that was the okay. whole description. Like, it's like, okay, thanks. Uh, great. Get sent flying when reeved in red powder and you'll receive explosive damage. Attack when in blue for an explosive finish. Okay, that's not really cleared it up more yeah. <laughs> than the initial description, if well, I'm honest. Well, it reduces the required hit count at higher levels, so that should help. Okay, well, based on that, I'm assuming you attack the monster, you get this red powder around you. And if you get hit during that, it's bad. But if you don't get hit long enough, it becomes blue and it's good. Yeah. 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 I, mean, I guess it entirely depends how much damage explosive finish is. I mean, my worry is it's just going to be a blast proc, which definitely isn't worth what that is. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that's our trio of new monsters. Slayno. What are your words for Mr. Risen Teo? Fuck. Ouch. God help me. <laughs> you know what? It's not three words, but I'll allow it because it's very accurate. <laughs> oh, all right then, ladies and gentlemen, like if you enjoyed this, subscribe to the bell for more, continue supporting the future channel on Patreon down below, and prepare yourself for a onslaught of what I can only assume are cataclysmically ridiculous afflicted monsters. <laughs> yeah, yeah woo! That's a bit terrifying, isn't it? Yeah, that is a little bit, it's a little bit concerning. Uh, Sorry, I'm sure everyone's going to be alive. A good boy. Goodbye. Josh, Cotton, and Hollow with the videos. Dropping the humor like a hammer on your tippy toes. Bringing entertainment on a daily arrangement to take our insanity and turn it into entertainment. Yes, I said entertainment twice. To reiterate that it is nice. To look into your faces on a mostly daily basis when you let us in your homes to make the whole world a stage. Is, uh, goodbye.